Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be playing Death Stranding. I'm gonna have to load a file that I was playing. Uh, I don't want to start over. I've tried to film this actually multiple times and uh, failed. <laughs> so we're just gonna roll with where I'm at right now, which isn't too far in. I'm still trying to get used to all the controls and everything with using a controller because I found out using a keyboard and mouse doesn't work good at all. I mean it does, but to me it's a little bit harder once you get around BTs. Supposed to be recycling crystals, I believe. So I messed up and thought I needed to go in this way, but I don't. So I'm gonna have to head back. so cool though. Man, that's so crazy looking. I love how it looks on the computer. It looks amazing. Okay, I think I'm in the clear now. Made it back. Now I can get this. Cargo mission that I was supposed to get originally. Before I ran off. Yeah, I just gotta recycle these. There we go. That is the first time that I've gotten a B. I usually get S on everything. Oh well. Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. This is for you. 
That's container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with time fall degradation. Oh man, that'll be good. Even though I haven't had any problems with my cargo like dying or anything or breaking. schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation, after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. I guess that does make sense. Depends on how big the bridge is. God, I'm carrying a lot. I think this is the most I've ever carried so far. I think it's all those parts for that bridge. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Okay, Sam. Make your way to the designated construction area for the bridge. The foundation should already be in place. With your help, we'll have the thing finished in no time. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. Oh, there it is. Well, that's not too far away, thank god. Most, most of the places I've been going to are just so far away. I cannot wait till I get a vehicle. And I love too how like when BTs attack you, they leave like their handprints all over your backpack and like your clothes and things like that. That's really cool. And it also like wash off in water and like rivers that you walk through. So cool, it's like a 3D printer. Man, that would be so cool in real life. Just to be able to do that. Bravo, Sam. That bridge should make life easier for a lot of people. You can be sure that every traveler and porter who passes that way will put it to good use. Keep an eye out for other spots that could do with another well-placed bridge. Man, that looks so good. This looks like something from Star Wars, though.
Oh man, I got a ways to go. Oh man, it's far. Finally made it over the mountain, and back over to here, drop this load off, probably pick something else up, though I'm sure we'll have to take it back, but hopefully... Soon I'll be able to use that ATV motorcycle thing, and that, way got, that will make my life a lot easier. Let's see. Yeah, let's take it. Delivering cargo. Thank you. With this unit, we should be able to power the distro center via the chiral network. Other places, too, if it works. Here's hoping the UCA can put our electricity to good use. Mind if I have a look? a connection to the chiral network. Go for it. Network bandwidth is a limited resource, and every structure you build consumes it. However, as you increase your connection level, the bandwidth available to you will increase as well. About time we did our part. Thanks again. You know, I heard the rest of your team was wiped out. Makes what you're doing all the more incredible. You're a one-man expedition. I hope Amelie's doing as well as you. Wonder if she made it to Edgenot City yet. It was her that put us in charge of the wind farm. I was with the group bringing up the rear while Amelie led the way. I'd never met her in person. But it was an honor to travel with her all the same. When you see her, feel free to tell her I said so, huh? Sam, got a moment? I ran an experiment with your blood. It seems you were onto something. After dispersing an aerosolized sample of your blood in BT territory, we observed reduced activity. While this is hardly definitive as we have no other repatriates to whom we can turn for additional testing, it does suggest that the bodily fluids of repatriates are repellent to BTs. Mama had the idea of developing a weapon to test this theory. The prototype should be ready soon. And oh man, I finally get a weapon. Like Thank God. It. Sam, this is the perfect opportunity. We almost got the whole region on the Cairo network. All that's left is Port Knot City. Return to Capital Knot City so you can pick up relief supplies for Port Knot. By the time you arrive, we can give you the completed prototype in person. One other thing. It's not very often porters get out to that wind farm. 
While you're there, you should pick up any outstanding orders. No sense coming all the way back here empty-handed if there's work to be done. Have a look at that delivery terminal. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Congrats, Sam. You're cleared to take on open orders. While they're not as high priority as the ones specifically assigned to you, if you're already heading a certain way and you have room to spare, it couldn't hurt to do a little more, right? Just because they're not mission critical doesn't mean they're not important to someone. So why not do a good deed or two? This is a somewhat unusual order. You're going to want to review the key points in the summary. I think I can easily get it there in 45 minutes. It didn't even take that long to get over the mountain. It should be fine as long as I don't run into any BTs. Hey, great work. That wind farm you've Hey, there's a the generator. Is essential for our I definitely need that for a vehicle. By way of reward, That's going to make my life so much more easier. That and the weapon, whatever option. weapon they give me, Generators is going to help a lot. The batteries of all nearby devices. That includes machines, bikes, and other battery-powered vehicles. All right, let's go back over the mountain. Order assigned. Delivery parameters updated. Time limit set. And we're off again. So I got to the top of this mountain and I was like, I should probably put down the generator since they gave it to me. Just in case I have to come back over this mountain with the bike. So that I can charge it and I don't have to worry about it running out of battery on the way there. So if I do have to come this way, I'm covered. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges oh, thank God I'm dropping like all of this off here. Yeah, I think uh, after I drop this off, I'm gonna. It might be a good spot to stop this first part of Death Stranding series that I'm doing on my channel. You brought this from the wind farm? <laughs> I can't imagine what a chore that must have been. Thank you. Made record time. Wow, don't do things by halves, do you? Hard to believe one man could bring in a hole this big. Then again, you are a legend.
Yeah, and I think on that note, I'm gonna end it here. I'll have part two coming out fairly shortly. It'll be a lot longer than this one, though. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more videos in that one. So if you want to keep up with any Let's Play that I'm doing of Death Stranding, just don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.